Hello and welcome to this overview on new release of the view. And before we jump in applications and look what was added or changes, of course, the biggest things it was change in the pricing. And now you don't have different versions like Pioneer, Extreme, all these other ones. You base it by solution. So you have a creator solution, professionally and enterprise. And based on what solution you selected, you will have its products, for example, plain factory also included or some other view. However, notice the price it does change. So if before you can go ahead and purchase just one application, one time fee, one of the biggest right now that people speak, it's a, it is the subscription options. And if you notice very many uh, different applications switching to subscription model, and it does have its, its own pluses and minuses. I don't want to go about this in this video. Um, I will create another video where I review different subscriptions and does the worth actually to you or not. We'll look on this later. But overall, it is changing in pricing, it's changing in package delivery and everything. So um, let's jump in our applications and look what's changed in this. And hopefully this review will help you also determine if you want to upgrade or stay with older versions forever. One thing I need to tell you, uh, you always one thing nice about subscriptions, you can pay um, basic $19 a month for one time, try it, see if you like it, work with this and stop your subscriptions when you need it. So it's have it some plus and minuses. But again, so first, off you'll notice when you jump in a new view it is interface change so it is redesign and in actually redesign as well on a back end as a front end so this is one of the major update of the view application for a long time overall you notice the buttons the kind of big size icons is change um Personally, I may like a little bit smaller buttons. To me, it just uh, take too much real estate for me on the screens. However, this is the um, HD size of the screen. If you work now with 4K monitors, those buttons become smaller. So I think the design was targeted more for 4K monitors for the future expansion of these applications. Then those buttons become kind of smaller and more manageable. So overall, I'll say this is design is in a plus and it was designed to keep this application for the future development for the hardware grow for the higher resolutions and more professional standards. Okay, so some of these new buttons you'll notice right here will the edit new one. So let's go see what major upgrades and major addition it was it is PBR materials. It's a physical based uh, materials and also meta clouds how they can work. So those is two. It's got much more additions. But when I will create more in depth tutorials, we will go through all these applications, then we'll go look on those small details again, how they work. But right now this two and I want to look the one materials, it's actually become more and more popular to the standards. And to access them, we'll just go inside material and right here from drop down, you see now we have it PBR materials. Um, it does provide some options. And if we switch, you notice we'll have it change some alpha. Now we have our bump map, normals, displacement, so we can preload or pre-render. And um, same as metallic, roughness, ambient. They are not procedural like inside the view. So for example, if we're going back to um, our material, you'll notice right here, we can go inside, for example, transparency, and we have all the settings. Again, this is not image based. This is more as the procedure inside the function driven um, inside the view, which is if you're familiar, it gives you some flexibility. However, if you want to export, sometimes they may have a problem with this. So I will say the PBR is good addition if you work in a workflow when you need to use it um, applications like passing Cinema 4D or other ones not just to render inside the view, but cross uh, applications, uh, passing the materials, then PBR, it's probably the best way to go. If you are solely just stuck inside the view, create everything there and render, I don't know how much you will benefit from this, except you may use it other uh, materials, 
and export and reuse them as well but overall pbr it's kind of industry standard right now uh one of the popular at this point a uh, type of used material so you can access here and by preloading just simple images you can go ahead and modify them notice you still actually access and use as well procedurals if you need it inside the pbr however um, again this has come up to the point of how you export these materials and everything or how to use it okay and if you want to explore a little bit more with the pbr materials and other ones i recommend for you just go to algorithmic and they have a substance paint designer all is different if you are students you can download it for free this version for the student again it's not for the commercial use but you can play around they also have a demo and they also have it very nice free materials you can go on and download it if you need it um, for example you can go just in substance shares and right here you can see they have a lot of different nice materials um, some of them kind of look very um, interesting again you can download it you can see which one for free material and other ones and uh, we will go more in depth tutorials on um, how to use it these PBR materials with Vue, uh, what is benefits what is kind of uh, things to avoid as well so we can um, modify and see how they work inside the Vue. Uh, Vue render also was modified and upgraded to use those PBR materials to create this very realistic um, look so overall this is one of the major upgrade portion of this the another ones is we're going to look it's creating meta clouds they was actually quite a bit enhanced and uh, almost like put it on steroids so they're way more powerful the one of the biggest problem before and this slowly was upgrading when you create clouds you kind of have limitations how you can control shape of the clouds or um how it can look so right now and i remember uh, sorry at one point when try to create tornadoes let's have it all this kind of work around how to create tornado or a shape precisely for this cloud so now actually it's much much easier to do this all what you need to have it just object doesn't matter i just used orb right now as example you can have it school you can have it spaceship you can have it anything and we're going inside if you right click you notice right here it's add two new options one it's convert to meta clouds and another it's a loaded object and convert because we already have an object we'll just go click on convert to meta cloud and you'll notice right here come our property so it will take shape of this object and ask what is accuracy and everything i want so actually let me you know just bring down i don't want that accuracy at this point i want just apply it and don't want to take time one thing i do notice when you add accuracy and density a little bit higher it's take a little bit time to render because it's try to calculate all these volumetric materials and kind of fit inside the shape of the object okay so we'll have it right there our big quality and when you're done just click apply you notice right here it's going to render and when it's done it's applied the cloud based on the shape of the object that was done so notice my density is not very high so we can add additional um density if you need it but it is will increase a little bit render time again the accuracy it will more kind of apply to this effect and this way we can create different it kind of hard to can see right there but it's it's a cloud and again um, because it's meta cloud remember if you increase you want to create a larger size of this object because with the largest we can see a uh, more visible okay and as we move out you can see right here we have our clouds appear and it's a uh, normal with the volumetric materials you need to increase in size to let those particles accumulate so they will create a little bit density on the size of smaller ones um won't be that visible because they don't affect that much distortions in our atmosphere or absorption of the light okay so overall this is a two kind of major things it's many other small additions was added uh, but i think those ones are very significant also you will notice right here we add additions some of the how you can drop the camera top some overall um effects and some additional touch-ups overall i will say this is one of the major upgrade 
um, for the VU version, it took a little bit of time. I think it was like two years or a year. It was some time till latest release of the VU. So it does um, include a lot of those updates. Um, does it worth upgrade? It's up to you. I will say um, you can download a demo or you can always get it one month subscription, see if it's work for you or not. This is nice about subscription. You don't make make this big investment in applications, which is sometimes cost about 2000 for the professional or more. Um, so it's kind of nice to try in this. Um, again, I wish they have still have it some um, for hobbyists, some very entry basic edition, you know, like almost Photoshop elements where people can pay uh, I don't know, minimum, a small fee and still using these applications. But on the bright side, you still have your educational versions. You still have it, your um, trials. You still have it, all of those versions. You can still using them as well. Uh, so it's up to you. Uh, personally, it does for me, from what I use it, I think it does worth upgrade this application just for the uh, support PBR materials because I used them with the filter forge and other ones applications that I used my materials externally as well if you export and use it in other applications um, Cinema 4D um, the Max Maya or other applications if you work with them it does work on this one clouds it does give you a little bit control I don't know how much you will actually how often you will use it uh, creating a spaceship or a sail ship or a school or other ones. I don't know how often you will do those images and they, they interesting um, effect, but overall, I think you maybe find more use of this shape when you go over mountains or create some specific. But again, this is nice addition, but it's not critical as other ones. So overall application, I will say it's acting from my experience is stable. It's taken me a little bit time to review. So it does not, it's, um, backhand was updated and refreshed definitely it's more stable applications work less crushes it's provide faster render they added additional options optimizations on the rendering as well but again because it is a photorealistic rendering you increase quality you increase uh, reduce in speed so we'll go in a future tutorials we'll go look more in details on a step and i'm also in process to creating tutorials to going over this all applications. So we go through over each component, everything and see how this application is work and just help you to start with a 3D art.